I can remember they had all of the men that came back from the service in sacrament meeting in their finest uniforms. And uh, Elder Perry and his brother, younger brother Ted were two of them, but there were others. Seeing them up there in their military uniforms for a five-year-old, <laughs> a, a great memory. So that's my earliest memory of, uh, of Elder Perry. My father liked to say that he baptized more people when he was in the Marine Corps than he did as a missionary. He was a very active missionary. They built a chapel on Saipan. That was really a vehicle that they used to baptize a lot of people. They would just get people involved in building and they would uh, teach them the gospel as they pounded nails. They baptized a lot of people on Red Beach and uh, that was a sweet experience for him as in the military. Elder L. Tom Perry, a new member of the Council of the Twelve Apostles, Elder Perry. There is a theme to my life. It is this. He was reared in a home in which his parents loved and appreciated the gospel of Jesus Christ. Should not every child of God be given that opportunity in their lives? His background as a Marine, he, he was very patriotic. And he saw faith and family and religious freedom as a heritage of his generation, of some of the things they were fighting for, some of the things they were trying to protect, that those were some of the basic values that were really most important. I really especially liked his enthusiasm when he talked about his visit to the Vatican with President Eyring and the colloquium on marriage. It seemed to me that that was a really important topic to him, marriage and family and the eternal unit of the family. A lot of it's Elder Perry. It's a culmination of his efforts. Elder Perry had made many friends who I think when they were putting this program together, someone said, you know, you really ought to have the Latter-day Saints in the meeting. When you're with Elder Perry, you always see opportunity, never problems. He's an opportunity man. Family was really at the core. He felt blessed to have his own family. He understands that the core of society is a family. It just orients him and seems to be an anchor in his life. The older I get, the more I realize that family is the center of life. It is the key to eternal happiness. We always knew that we were loved by my father. We also knew that he was committed to the gospel. I think Elder Perry's legacy will be one of uh, truly an apostle and a disciple of Christ. He's lived his life really being an example of the Savior. When you think of this, this Marine who uh, was not afraid to have any challenge that would come along, and then think of losing your wife and your daughter and your granddaughter all to the same cancer. And if you wanted to see a testimony at work and this powerful man, how he responded to that and the faith he would demonstrate, that uh, to me was a significant measure of the man. This is the Lord's work in which we're engaged. He has charted the course and revealed the fundamental principles that will lead us back to His presence. May we have the strength and the courage to follow Him is my prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.